The Yankees legend and reigning National League Manager of the Year, Don Mattingly, had some interesting comments recently about a lack of action during Major League games. In a session with the media, he said baseball has to be open-minded and that playoff games being hard for him to watch indicated that the sport has to find a way to make its games move. With those thoughts from Donnie, baseball in mind, we bring in Michael Kay as Yankees Hot Stove continues. Michael, very candid comments from a great guy with the bat, a great baseball man, knows that they need to inject better life into the game. I think a lot of people misunderstand, though. They, they, they think we're talking about length of game. I don't care if a game goes three and a half hours. It's about the pace. There's nothing happening in the game. Now, all four of us, Bob, you played in the college level. John had a great major league career. Um, Jack and I have been in it more than half our lives. We love the game, but the game is broken right now. It has to be fixed. They have to pick up the pace. They have to make it quicker. They have to incentivize getting base runners on and moving things along. They can't just sit back. The thing that bothers me is everybody's sitting back, looking at home runs, strikeouts, and walks. That's not exciting enough. Remember, they used to have that big uh, um, uh, advertising campaign about home runs. Everybody likes home runs. Yeah, to an extent, but it's like too much candy. You're going to get sick of it after a while, and I think that that has hurt the game. The mathematicians have found out it doesn't matter if you strike out as long as you hit enough home runs. We've got to change the math. Michael, one of the things that Don Manningly mentioned was maybe that he wasn't opposed to changing the rules about shifting against hitters, which I completely disagree with. I mean, the game has always been about mating, making adjustments, and I feel like players at some point need to make an adjustment and start learning how to beat the shift. Yeah, Michael, that is. We're just I looking at the quote right now, and I just want to say that that is pretty interesting that a manager would say that as a way to get the game going a little more. And I agree with what John just said, because Terry Francona said, I'd rather not abolish the shift. I'd rather the players adjust. That's the way it goes in baseball. But, John, the problem is, as long as the home run is the, is the, is the biggest thing that you can have in baseball, people don't care about shifts. They don't care if you don't shift. They're trying to hit the ball over the wall. You've got to stop the home runs and the strikeouts. That will speed up the game. Now, I came up with a very strange idea. And I know that you're all going to jump me. People that are watching are going to jump me as well. But here goes. You've got to disincentivize strikeouts. So if you could put something wacky in, like if you strike out twice in an inning, that's the end of the inning, whether or not there's an out to go. If somebody strikes out twice in the game, they have to be replaced in the game. You can't make it so easy to strike out. It used to be an embarrassment to strike out. Now all it is is strikeout walks and home runs. That does not excite anybody. Hit and runs are gone. Mostly uh, stealing bases are gone. Uh, just getting base hits are gone as well. You've got to take away the, the incentive of striking out or hitting a home run. That has to be changed, and I know my idea is wacky, it would never be implemented, but they have to think outside the box because as long as the math tells you, it doesn't matter if you don't hit a home run, uh, it doesn't matter if you strike out as long as you hit a home run enough, that you've got to change the math. And the only way to change the math is to do something really, really wild. Michael, I don't.